Hello, in this video we are going to talk about setting up a contact page using WP Forms plugin, which you've already installed, so that you have a contact form on your page. This ensures that you don't need a email address on your website. So in order to do this, you need to have a few things open. I'd like you to have your website open, uh, your WordPress version of your website open right here. Uh, I'd also like you to have the dashboard area, so we, I'd like you to be logged in. And we're going to talk about your contact page. Now your contact page should have something of a default on it. Um, we create contact pages to provide users to our site with the ability to contact us. We could put our email address on here. However, there are spiders that crawl the web. These are obviously pieces of software uh, that archives e email addresses and then sell them to spam companies, which then create spam. So we don't want that to happen. Okay. So in uh, the uh, dashboard area, you will see the WP forms. Uh, link to that. We already have previously installed that in, uh, in another video. So you can click on WP Forms and you want to click on Start Building. Okay. Now WP Forms has quite a lot of uh, features that you can take advantage of. Uh, if if you feel like it and you can see how many different default forms that they have and there's quite a bit of customization that you can do i'm just going to show you to how to use the basic form but if you feel like exploring how to use this in more detail uh, they have a very informative guide that you can click on that will open up in a new page that discusses all sorts of things they've got great screenshots really very wonderful uh, system. If you feel like eventually upgrading to the pro version, you will even get more uh, features available for you. We certainly don't need that now. Okay. So from this page here, I'd like you to click uh, use the simple contact form and you can use the template. And what's nice is it provides you with a very simple contact form, really all the information that you would need from somebody who wants to get in touch so that you can get in touch with them. The first name and last name, an email address, and the comment or message. Okay, So you can see that there are more options over here, what they're calling fancy fields. You do have to uh, uh, sign up for the pro version for those, but this is perfectly good for what we are needing at the moment and uh, you could customize all sorts of different things with it. So I'm going to click on this, on just hover over name and click on name. And um, you could see that there's an advanced option right here. I'd like you to click on that. And I'd like you to add in this placeholder area, first name and then last name. Okay. This is important for inclusive design purposes. When a screen reader, for somebody who needs a screen reader, for example, if somebody is blind, encounters a form, the placeholder name is read out loud to that person. So they know what to exactly put in here. And it's just, yes, it says first and last over here, but this gives them a little bit more information that, that, that they would need. Okay, I'm going to click email. And I'm going to go back over here again. I'm going to click placeholder, email address, and then comment or message, and the placeholder text, just like that. And you can see that that is there. And then that will show up eventually in the form, as we will see. Now you will notice these little asterisks next to name and email. Okay, that is indicating that those form fields are required. The comment and message in their basic template is not required, but I think that it's a good idea to require that so that you're actually getting a message uh, from the person that you want the message from. Okay. Um, and let's see. We can now click save. And that's that. We could also edit this. Ah, yes, we can edit this. And I can say contact Bill Wolf. 
and you could write something more fun, uh, something that is more consistent with who you are. This is just a very um, general thing that you might be able to say. And if you wanted to describe and put a couple of sentence or two in here about, you know, please contact me. I'd love to hear from you, something like that. Um, if you're using your site for a business, you know, you could say, please inquire about uh, any commissions that I could do. Anything like that could be in this in this description area. All right. And I will click save. Notifications. Under notifications here, this is how you are going to get notified about the contact form. You will see that there are a variety of different ways. It's going to go to your admin email, which is connected to your uh, to your WordPress account. So this is most likely your SJU email. This will be the subject line. Okay. So new entry, simple contact form, where you could customize this. So you could say, you know, new entry website contact something like that and this would be like an ID number I'm gonna just take that out you don't need it uh, the from name would be from the name of the site and the from email would be from an, your email address that you have now you might get this error message right here and that is because my from email is not the same as the do does not match my domain some people have an email address that matches their domain. So for example, I could have a um, email address named bill at billwolfsju.com. We don't have those. We're using the SJU email. So you don't have that email address right now connected with your URL. So, but this is okay. I, I did some testing and nothing goes into the spam folder, at least from what I could see. Um, and so you could leave that just the way that it is. And I would click Save now that I made a little change there. And then Confirmation. You can say, you can structure the and customize the confirmation email, uh, the confirmation message that people get after submitting the form. So thank you for, thanks for contacting me. I'll be in touch. Be in touch with you shortly. You could change a couple different things. It could go to a different page. It can go to a URL, or it could just show a message, which would stay on the contact page. And I'm going to click Save. Okay. So now I have my form fields, and I'm going to go see what it takes to look like on the page. So I'm going to close out of this right here, and I'm going to go to Pages. And I'm going to click Edit under the Classic Editor. Once you've started to edit some of your pages, the, the Classic and the Block Editor will show up. And I'm going to delete this basic text because I don't really need it. And I'm going to see a Form button, Add Form, right here. And I can see this Contact Bill Wolf form that I just created in the pull-down menu. And you could have multiple forms, and you could choose from multiple forms that you want to choose, but we just have the one. I'm going to click Show Form Name and Show Form Description. And I'm going to click Add Form. And you can see that this short code shows up in this space right here. And then I'm going to click Update. Okay. And then I can go back to my web page. And if you're not on the contact page already, let's say I'm on the home page, I can now click on contact. And there is my form right there. Okay. And then uh, what I always recommend doing is doing a sample and sending one to yourself and ensuring that it comes to your email. Uh, I did one earlier and it worked perfectly. So that's a very basic way, simple way of creating a contact form for your website, completely free, and um, give it a try and see how it goes. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. See ya.